Hey at Blogosphere, just a quick one today to have a look at a completed project. This is my 18650 fed hot swap battery grip for my main camera. I'd long got fed up with the chintzy batteries that you can get for these cameras, and also if you need to swap the battery while you're filming, you have to take the camera off the tripod because the door's in the underneath. So I decided to fix that and the battery runtime problem and make the whole thing be powered from the one true battery and build this. Let's have a closer look. So what we've got here is a 3D printed grip bolted to the camera with a boost converter and two holes for 18650s. Now at the moment it's running on the one that's in this bay and what you can do is install the second one and this will run as a reserve. This is showing that it's active on this battery and also blinking three lights here and showing one here to show that we've got one in reserve and you can swap between the two so you can swap manually if you like so if you really if you, if you want to take this one out and you know you're going to do it you can swap over it's now running on the one at the back then take this one out um, but it's actually fast enough to spot one going away that if you take the wrong one out as long as the other one's got charge in it if you take the one out that it's running on the camera stays on just fine it auto swaps onto the other battery. There's two major parts to the grip body. One piece that screws to the side of the camera, picking up the screws that used to hold the end cover on, and also the strap mounting point. And a big L-shaped piece which picks up on the piece that's screwed on and the tripod mount. And in here, there's a bunch of electronics and a connector that pokes through into a converted battery pack, which is simply a pack that's been hollowed out with a connector on the side. And in order to do this, I did have to drill a hole in the side of the camera, which might make you squeal a bit. But the other option was running a cable out of the bottom of the electronics and into the little flappy doodle where you can normally plug in a supply. And I didn't fancy that because as it is, I've got this hole where when I turn the whole thing off I can take the SD card out. And this arrangement here is a 323 clip for a quick release. The electronics in here has got a synchronous boost converter based around the TPS61088 which comes up to something like 90% efficient. Given that the extended run times you can get from the higher energy content of these compared to the crappy old Canon format batteries I'm perfectly fine with the losses. And there's a microcontroller in here running the changeover handling and the OLED display, which can display the two icons with you know, approximate battery contents, or you can put it into diagnostics mode and it shows voltages and currents on the output. Camera draws about 350 to 400 milliamps. Now you know. It's got an auxiliary output on a barrel jack as well, so that you can run some small accessories like maybe a ring light or a field monitor without having to lug around a second set of batteries for whatever that is. Obviously, it'll significantly shorten the runtime of these, but that's all right, because you can hot swap them. And you can carry a nice big box full of these around in your pack. So there you go. Hope you found that interesting. If you think there's anything else in the universe that needs to be powered off 18650s, let me know in the comments. Bye for now.